All right, I'm gonna show you how to edit some text today. So let's say that we are in a uh, side of a template that we're creating and uh, we want to, this is, this is what you're gonna see. And we want to add some text. We're gonna go over here to our dashboard on the side and click on text. And this is gonna pull up um, some different options for you. So you can actually just click a template that they already have and start editing from there. And they pick you know, fonts that pair together. So it's always safe grabbing one of these and you can edit any aspects of this text. So this right here, you can see it's highlighted and it says ungroup, which means that it's grouped. So you can click on ungroup and you can um, edit the aspects of that, uh, or you can keep them together. You can, you can um, play with them that way. You can actually, maybe you like this text, but you don't like this one. So you can highlight that text and click up here to change that. Maybe I just wanna change that one. Now I like it, right? So uh, that's something that you can do with the pairs that they have over there on the left. I'm gonna highlight both of those and click trash. So now I wanna show you um, if, you're, if you're editing what's in here, we're going to pull this down. And uh, once you click on the text and highlight what you want to edit, uh, you're going to see this bar at the top. This is what we're gonna go over. So you can click on this and you can change to any text you see over here. So you can change that text right there. Now you can click on this and change it to a totally different text if you want, right? But if you're in this and let's say I wanna highlight this one, you can just change one or you can highlight it all and change it all. So totally up to you what you do with that text, but you can change anything you want by clicking on this, uh, by highlighting and clicking on this and changing it, all right? Now, you can change the size by clicking on this little uh, box or circle and uh, in just dragging, okay? So you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, or you can click on this and then click on the size and choose a different size that way. So there's two different ways to edit uh, you know, the size of your text. And then you can change the color. So uh, you can click on, uh, you can highlight what you wanna change and then click on the color and let's say we wanna change that to pink, right? but maybe we just wanna change the N to white. You can do that, all right? So you can change any element that you want. Now click on that again, and uh, you're gonna see that this uh, particular font does not allow a bold or an italicized uh, a font, so you can't do it. Uh, let's see if this one does. Nope, this one doesn't, nope. Let's click on this one. And now you see it's highlighted, it's dark. So you can actually change that. By clicking that, you're gonna change it to bold. And then you can hit the italics and then change that to italics. Um, you can also underline a font. So we're working on this one down here. Um, you can actually underline it. And let's change that to black so it's nice and easy for you to see. And so there I underlined it, or I wanna take that underline off. Uh, you can also uh, click on this and it's going to align it to the left or the right. So if you click on that, it'll move it to the left and then the middle and then the right, all right? So that's alignment. And then you can click on this and it's actually gonna change it all to uppercase. And so you can see that it actually made it two lines. It's because it was bigger than the box. And if you drag it over, it'll, it'll take it out again. Or you can shrink it and make it two lines again, right? And then maybe we want it to all be in the middle. So we click the alignment. 
So you can see how you can change all of that very, very easily. Now um, let's make the alignment to the left and then let's say I want that to be bullet points. So I click on that and it's gonna make in bullet points or numbered or nothing. So it'll go through them. If you click it once, it's uh, bullets. If you click it twice, it's numbers. If you click it again, it's nothing, all right? Now, this is spacing. So if we highlight these two and click on spacing, you can change how far apart the letters are. So you can make the letters go far farther apart. And you can also change the height of how far they are. So you can change those, all right? So that is something you can do as well with all of your um, text. So that is texting in a nutshell.